This interview is for information only and should not be considered as investment advice or a recommendation to buy shares in the company featured. Welcome to this stock box interview. They've listed Fulcrum Metals, Epic Code FMET, is focused on mineral exploration and development in Canada and owns a diverse portfolio of gold, base metal, and uranium projects. Stockbox recently spoke to Fulcrum Metals following a busy start to 2024 and the PDAC 2024 show in Toronto. Today, the company has announced a letter of intent with Canada listed Terra Balkanica Resources for Fulcrum's Saskatchewan uranium assets. Chief Executive Ryan Mead joins me, joins us to tell us more. Hello, Ryan, how are you doing? I'm uh, very well. Uh, thanks for having me on, Alan. Good to see you again. Um, so, Ryan, really rapid progress in Saskatchewan and a big step forward for Fulcrum today. Um, you've expanded the Sas Saskatchewan project by 220% over the last year. And then, of course, a few weeks back, you reported some very strong uranium graves from sampling there. Today, an agreement with Terra Balkanica. Um, so congratulations to you and the team on this agreement. Th several questions for you. Firstly, who are Terra Balkanica resources? Um, and secondly, what does, what does the deal look like? And where will you be deploying the proceeds? Yeah, sure. So Terra listed in Canada. Um, they are focused on clean energy. So this is a natural fit for, for their portfolio. Uh, and importantly, they've got a very strong technical team who, who are focused on uh, you know, project delivery. So they're a very, very good partner for, for us to, to see development of those assets. Now, what this means for Fulcrum shareholders is, you know, we get 3.3 uh, million Canadian dollars over the term of the option, uh, of which 300,000 Canadian is cash. So we get to uh, bring some cash into the business, which we can then utilize on our other projects and uh, our, our pipeline of projects. Um, and we also retain that interest in those uranium assets. But also key to this is that Terra would be committed to 3.2 million Canadian dollars in terms of exploration to gain the interest in these projects. So, you know, Overall, it brings 3.3 million cash and shares to, on the table to the Fulcrum shareholders, and it strips out 3.25 million Canadian dollars of exploration expenditures, which obviously helps us rationalise our portfolio. That's uh, a lot of money. That's uh, that really is. That, that's great. So, just um, just for context, there was a further letter of intent and royalty agreement signed on these projects with Global Energy Minerals Corporation. Um, Presumably, the terror agreement nullifies that that arrangement. Yeah, the the terror agreement supersedes the the global energy agreement. Um, you know, the the original agreement was for a nineteen point nine percent interest. Um, we said at the time we we are jointly looking to to fully divest these projects to uh, a partner uh, that has technical capabilities to drive these projects forward because that vet, it's a very exciting portfolio. Now, this, you've got high grade uranium of up to six percent historically. The the grades that we came out with uh, with our first pass exploration last year was up to 0.8 percent uranium. Uh, we're just scratching the surface there. It's all along major trends, uh, major structures, and that's where you're seeing all of the big uranium exploration companies targeting. And that's for the first time actually. So we're slightly uh, um, ahead of the curve as from a junior exploration point, as you say. You know, we expanded our footprint by 220% over the last six months. Now, I think what this shows is that when Fulcrum say that they that, that, that they have a strategy, it shows that we can actually execute on that strategy. I think it's an excellent deal all around. I really do. Yeah, we're, we're picking up on that. Of course, the you've made rapid progress since coming to market last year, not only with the uranium projects, but also, of course, your Big Bear and Jackfish projects, which deliver great results from rock chip sampling. And of course, you've acquired the Tully Gold project, Carib Creek East, um, and most recently the option to acquire the Tech Hughes Gold Tellings project in Ontario. And of course, there's a sampling program underway there, um, uh, or, or that's just been completed. I mean, there's so much happening, isn't there? You know, where do you, 
where do you uh, prioritize your your um your, your focus absolutely so what we have rationalized the portfolio to now is gold in ontario so that's a low uh, risk jurisdiction it's one of the premium gold uh, producing jurisdictions globally so we have the low jurisdictional risk uh, and within that we we have uh, bought in the tech Hughes gold tailings program and again, that's bringing lower risk assets to the table with near term cash generation opportunities for us. You now, the work that we've done at Big Bear, that's now drill ready. So we've got you know, uh, levers that we can pull to, to bring some value to the table there. You know, the Tully project, that's in the Timmins Porcupine Gold Camp. You know, it's produced over 70 million ounces of gold. It's got a, you know, a, a, over 100,000 ounces as, as a resource. Uh, for us to expand upon there, and you know this is actually on leased land, so it's that ad, that gives us additional levers that we can pull as opposed to a, a traditional mining claim. So you know, with the completion of this uranium deal, what this means is we focus on gold, gold in one of the the best gold producing regions uh, globally with the lowest risk profile. We're also changing the risk profile of our exploration assets. You know, we've got the tailings, which is lower discovery risk. But we've also got that blue sky opportunity to make those discoveries and resource expansions. So as a company, we're extremely excited on what we can deliver for shareholders. And this uranium agreement is the first step in doing that. Excellent. Well, I know there has also been considerable excitement and speculation over the tech use uh, sampling program which of course you you mentioned just now um and of course the in particular the testing and study agreement with extract process solutions and their sustainable metal tailings extraction technology can you tell us more about that and about the progress absolutely so testing is currently underway we expect that that uh, we'll draw to uh, a conclusion over the next uh, four, four, four weeks or so, something like that. Um, now, you know, the, the key thing with tailings is, does the technology work? Now, Extract signed a partnership agreement with Bechtel Engineering uh, January of this year. Um, Bechtel are a major, major engineering company. So... They say it works, so we're ma massively excited on, on you know the, the the partnership that we're developing with Extract, and you know we're working on different frameworks which we can put in place to really cement our position in the tailings industry, uh, and bring some you know deliver some significant value creating uh, opportunities to Fulcrum shareholders. And of course, that's going to mark the evolution of Fulcrum uh, from Explorer into producer as well, which is going to be a landmark day for you, isn't it? Well, look, you know, we uh, exploration is a game full of risk. Um, yeah. So we, we have to be careful to, make, uh, to try and make the best decisions along that path. And you're absolutely right. We are evolving as a company. You know, look what we've done in the Euro with the uranium portfolio. Um, look at the partners we've got for the tailings and the tailings technology. You know the you know the Natural Resources Canada. You know they estimate ten billion dollars worth of gold in tailings in Canada alone. So we've we're positioning ourselves with the best uh, profile in terms of low risk and high rewards, and that's that's exactly what we want to do. You know I personally, you know I've got, I'm a significant shareholder and investor in the business. Um, so I want to see some return on that money. Um, if I'm making investors money, I'm making myself money. And that's what drives this uh, ambition and motivation behind Fulcrum. Excellent. Well, of course, another dimension added to the group recently um, with the appointment of Jason Brewer as strategic advisor. And of course, given his success with Marula Mining, Sugar Minerals, Neo Metals, um, he, of course, has that close working relationship with Quinton van der Berg. Um, what are you hoping that Jason will bring to the table for you, Ryan? Well, look, uh, Jason is synonymous with the mining industry. You know, he's, he's been part of it for, for a long time. And he actually started his career in Timmins, which is in and around where some of our projects are. But, you know, what he brings to us is uh, almost an external viewpoint, but bringing him inside in the inner workings with, with our strategy, uh, and what our objectives are, 
it gives us a very sensible soundboard for us to bounce our ideas off just to give that extra uh, validity to what we're doing and also it, it, he can bring other things to the table to us in terms of you know how we how, how we approach uh those objectives so you know i'm really happy that jason's a you know part of you know, the inner workings at Fulcrum. You know, he brings a lot to the table for us. Um, so yeah, it's uh, you know, it's it's a relationship that's working out really well for us. Excellent, excellent. Well, Ryan, the news is coming thick and fast. Um, can you give investors a, a flavour of what's coming up in the in the uh, next few weeks and months? Yeah. So we'll obviously have updates on this uranium transaction over the course of the, of the next two to four weeks as we close that out. Um, as you say, we've got testing undergoing at TechUs uh, with extract, so keep your eyes open for that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we're we looking to expand this tailings business. Um, you know, there's, there's many an opportunity, like I said earlier, there's an immense potential um, of metal value in tailings in Canada. Um, uh, you know, essentially, we're at the we're at the start of a very news rich period. So our, you know, investors should keep the the the, the ears to the ground um, and check out for regular updates as we meet uh, we seek to execute on, on our objectives. Um, and you know, at a at a sensible point uh, along that, then you know, I think it would be a good point to to come back to yourselves at Startbox and discuss, you know, where the company is and, and what we've achieved. Well, Ryan, it's been great speaking with you and finding out about uh, the upcoming uh, developments for uh, uh, Fulcrum Metals. We wish you every success for the coming year. Ryan Mee, Chief Executive of Fulcrum Metals, many thanks for joining us today. It's been a pleasure, Alan. Thank you. If you enjoyed this interview, then give us a thumbs up, a like or a retweet. Subscribe to us on YouTube or follow us on Twitter and hit that notification bell to be the first to know when we release new content. There's loads of great content on our website too, across all our programs at stockboxmedia.com. Thank you for watching.